Parliament will resume to process the third reading of the National Coffee Amendment Bill 2024, which seeks to mainstream the functions of the Uganda Coffee Development Authority into the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries. The media has been filled with mixed reactions over the controversial bill, which has been deemed toxic by some sections of the public. Following the last debate, various groups, including MPs from the NRM party in the Western region, have openly opposed the amendment to rationalize UCDA into the Ministry of Agriculture. The leader of opposition, Joe Senyonyi, held a joint meeting in which they resolved that UCDA should remain independent and not be affected by the rationalization policy. But as of now, we are convinced that UCDA has got a lot more potential regarding coffee in comparison to the ministry, which is which has increasingly become a lame duck. So we are vouching for UCDA because of its strategic nature. The MPs have warned the executive against interfering with operations of parliament. The hope is that our colleagues, especially from the NRM, will listen a lot more to the people they represent, as opposed to the instructions coming from cabinet. Cabinet is meant to bring proposals here in parliament. We can choose to give them a green light, or we can choose to throw them out. Legally, procedurally, and be that we are equally fit. If there is anything illegal that attempts to detract us from execution of our duties as members of parliament, we are fit, we shall confront any intruder. We won't be intimidated. These are people's rights. People are saying let coffee and UCD remain. We shall defend it to our last breath. While most of the opposition to the bill comes from opposition MPs, the leader of opposition stresses that the issue of coffee should not be seen as partisan. The MPs argue that the government's intention of rationalization loses credibility as more districts and positions are being created. To rationalize, but now you're creating several positions. And then they introduce assistant RDCs and that kind of thing. What exactly are they going to do? Yet they are going to be earning a salary and to be facilitated. And this is the same government saying they are interested in cutting down on costs and expenditures. That's not true. The controversy stems from concerns that economic empowerment of Ugandans and their voice should be defended, as the MPs claim. So we shall be here tomorrow to defend the economic empowerment of the people of Uganda. And you see, the good thing is we know the rules, we know the law. And so we shall use it. And we want to urge all Ugandans out there, and especially my people of Kampala, to also raise their voices tomorrow. They had remained with that economic activity that was earning them something, something to put in their pockets, to look after their families. It is also now being taken out. So they talk However, NRM COCA spokesperson Alex Brandon Chintu remains optimistic that the bill will be passed into law. We are constituting a whole house and then we shall have to say, well, this law is good, this is nice, blah, blah, blah. So what do I expect? I expect that the bill will be enacted into a law. I'm Nafka Farid and Gloria Gwitabenji at Parliament.